Spiritual guides, they come in many different shapes and form. So I think this brings us back to that. I think that each life is a lesson that we are going through for the continuation of our spiritual growth. And the spiritual guides are there to, in so many ways, help you on that road, right? To point you in the direction that you are meant to be going. But what crystals can do really effectively and what the meditation can do really effectively is that it can, I think it can, I think it can help to manage really low levels of anxiety really well. And very often, like illnesses of the mind, I think meditation and crystal healing can be very effective at healing and curing and managing those illnesses of the mind. And also, I think that those, those can also be very helpful at helping us do better through challenges, right? So we all, most of us have a nine to five. We have to deal with difficult people at work, challenging conversations, you know, all of these things. And I think that meditation healing our chakras, working with crystals can help us to cope in a much more healthy way with those really challenging situations. Yeah, I totally agree. And because sometimes, as you said, that not the major illnesses, mental illnesses, but let's say we are we have like a board meeting or we're going to present for a board, the board or something like that, or you have mm. a very important meeting and you're very anxious, then at yep. least when, when you practice meditation or you have your crystals with you or you know how to do, do it as with your practice, you, it will help you easing up a bit and that the good vibration and stuff. So the, mm. the crystals, do they emit some kind of energy or vibration? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to pick up one of my other crystals. I got, I got, as you can, anyone who watches this video will see that there are plenty of crystals in my room. So yeah, crystals are elemental forces of nature. They are conductors of energy in so many ways. So you got quartz crystal, you got a, a clear quartz crystal, you got a citrine over here, I've got an amethyst over here. I've got quite a few different ones. As you can see, there's a couple of rose quartz back on my shelf as well. The thing with crystals is that if you open up a crystal book, you will see that supposedly they do this, that, and the other for different illnesses and so on and so forth. I work with crystals in a much more in a much more intuitive way and the color that they the color that they have. Normally I would probably use a citrine for the stomach chakra and the solar plexus because they are orange and yellow but also not necessarily i tune in with my guidance with my intuition and i think that i will be guided towards which crystal i need 